If you're anything like me, you're really good at making all right digital doubles. Maybe that maybe that's unfair to assume. That's not very nice. Maybe you're really good at making digital doubles, but that kind of takes a long time. Anyway, how do you get something like this to look like it realistically belongs in a shot? That's a really good question. But first, let's answer the first question, which is how do you get to this point in the first place? Do you just take four pictures of a person and then roughly model a base mesh around those reference images and then project those images onto your rough base model and then give it a basic armature and then some basic particle hair? Well, yeah, I feel like that's oversimplifying it a little bit, but yeah, that's, that's basically how you do it. The secret sauce, though, is what I like to call a CG sandwich. So here's the idea. We take as many elements from real life as possible. We're not guessing about anything in this shot. And actually, if you've gotten to this point, you're already doing this because you're using real textures of a real person with real details that you probably would never think to actually create if you were just doing this from scratch. But on top of textures, we've also got motion. Motion is one of the biggest things that can either sell your shot or make it totally unbelievable. And I didn't have any reference of somebody falling out of a tree and hitting a branch like this. If I did, we would have just filmed that instead. That's why we're doing the digital double in the first place. But what I do have is YouTube. And the kids are putting all sorts of crazy stuff on YouTube these days. One of the most useful things I found was this clip from John Wick. And then of course you've got a bunch of people doing stunt reels, kind of showing off their skills. So that was really handy as well. So definitely don't underestimate the value of taking real videos and using them as reference when you're animating your digital double. Okay, another ingredient that we CG artists don't really think about that often is sound. And this is crazy because you can make your digital double that is completely fake, not real pixels, make real people sounds. And if there's something that tricks people's brains more than anything, it's sound. You can have really so-so visual effects and really good sound, and it just works. <coughs> so for this, we just recorded our actress Lois getting hurt. I mean, acting like she was getting hurt, which she wasn't actually. Anyways, that sound <coughs> is one of the most impactful things about this shot. Moving on, the last ingredient to our sandwich is really important. Without this, you'll just be holding some ingredients in your hand and it gets real slimy, it's the bread of your sandwich. Now the bread is real things that you actually shot, no CG. So some examples of that are real branches actually breaking. <laughs> a bunch of leaves that you just threw some stuff through and it's so zoomed and you can't tell it's not a person falling through them. And of course, to sell that impact, you wanna get some kind of landing. This can be a close up, that way your actress only needs to fall like half a foot. And that way, the audience really just connects. It's like, dang, that just happened. Did that? Wait, how did they- With all of those ingredients together... <coughs> My last tip for this kind of shot is don't overdo it. It's really easy to accidentally make a shot last too long, or for the double to be too close to the camera, or show its face really obviously. And those things can really cue an audience into, hey, wait a minute. That's not real. But now you've done it. You've made your so-so CG double look like it actually belongs in a realistic shot. Okay, speaking of using real elements in your projects, I've created an asset library of looping and seamless smoke elements that I actually took real videos of. These aren't simulated. I use them very frequently, actually currently using them in an animation project right now. And you can get them for free in the description. I hope you enjoy those.